Hello plant people! This is Zorg. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to do an Azamax dunk and this is how you treat your salvia divinorum plants for pests. Uh, the product that I use and swear by is called Azamax. Azamax, Azamax, I don't know how you say it. But it is a botanical insecticide miticide, nematicide, repellent, antifeedant, and insect growth regulator. That part, I would assume, is probably the main concerning part. The active ingredient is azadiractin. I've seen other stuff like this at the hydroponics store. Um, this is mostly a derivative of neem oil. I think the other ingredient's 98.8%. Uh, the last time I looked at this, I think it just said see if we can find it real quick without spending too much time. So it targets uh, true bugs, ligus stink, lace bugs, leaf hoppers, grape leaf hopper, mealy bugs, white fly, aphids, and scales. That's cool. Uh, I don't actually see why it doesn't say mites because does it say mites? Let's see. Oh, it continues. Okay. I'm sure it treats mites because it's literally a miticide. And every time I use it when I have spider mites, it kills them. So anyway, uh, you know, people, people don't like using pesticides. I totally get it. Azamax is an OMRI listed for organic use insecticide. And often people think that if it says it's organic, it means no pesticide or chemicals. And that's just not true, which is always really funny to me that people think organic is better and it's not necessarily better. So... You know, you can use neem oil, you can try to spray your plants with diluted soap, you can do all kinds of stuff. I have been doing all kinds of things over the past 10 years of growing the plants, and honestly, the only thing that i found to work, usually the first try, is Azomax. And it's what I recommend, it's what I use myself, you're going to want to do your own research and make a decision for yourself. But in my experience, it works. If it doesn't get rid of everything the first try, then a second dunk destroys them. And if you're going from outdoor plants to indoor plants like I am today, that's really important. So the other product that I've been using is this stuff called Aura Boost. It is It smells like orange juice, kind of, like really strong orange juice. It's a uh, wetting agent, and it basically just increases the, or maybe it decreases surface tension. I'm not quite sure. It just makes the uh, Azimax more effective. So this stuff is very powerful, though. You're going to want to use a very small amount. So I use 12 milliliters of Azimax per gallon and one and a half milliliters of Aura Boost. I'm probably... I haven't done this for maybe eight months now. I haven't had bugs for a while. So I'm going to use probably like half a milliliter of Aura Boost because that is going to burn your plants way more than the neem oil or the uh, Azimax. A uh, quick tip, if you can get this in a smaller bottle, you should. I think I paid like 80 or $90 for this bottle. I don't remember. I bought it maybe a year ago. And I've literally used like four milliliters out of this one quart bottle. I'm never going to use this entire bottle. Uh, Azimax, on the other hand, it goes kind of quick and the bigger bottles are not that much more expensive than the smaller bottles. So definitely get the bigger bottle if you can, because I don't think it expires. As long as you keep it in, I mean, I'm sure it has an expiration date somewhere on it, but uh, it's by General Hydroponics. So one tip, uh, don't shake up your solution very much because you will create bubbles and you don't want that. So I have two trays. One is going to be for dunking. 
one is going to be for putting the cuttings in after dunking. And what I like to do, oh, watch out for that, just spill water. What I like to do is make a little reservoir of water first, and then, these gloves are funny, because they say that there's no added uh, residue or anything, but what's this like foaming? It says it's safe for food use, but it's, I don't know, it's silly what people put on labels and then. So, we're going to go here. I just give it a little swirl just to shake it up a little bit. And I just gave it a smell to see if it smells fine. I haven't used this bottle in, like I said, maybe eight months and it's already... God, it's already probably two years old. I bought this a long time ago. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna use gloves because the instructions say to. I'm pretty sure this stuff is not very good for skin. So it just looks like this. It kind of just looks like neem oil. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it is just a derivative of neem oil with some extra add-ons in there, like the azotrugabla, whatever that is, the active miticide ingredient. And to touch on what I was saying earlier before I forgot, you probably, well, you will for sure get bugs. Uh, sorry about my super creaky chair. You for sure will get bugs at some point. Bugs love salvia. I do not know why. It's probably why humans love salvia. They love to eat it and they will make you sad. So you could try all kinds of things. This is the only thing I found that works. And it just, it just works. So that's my two cents. Try and not get it super bubbly. You will... The bubbles have a tendency to stick to the leaves and you don't really want a ton of water sticking to the leaves. Uh, you just kind of want to get it submerged, do a little jostle and, and then pull it out and put it in your kind of drying area. Uh, the bubbles have a tendency to create gaps for bugs to stay in and hide, as well as it creates kind of a concentrated area where the solution stays onto your plant for a little bit longer than you would maybe like it to, because we really just kind of want to put it in there, jostle it around, and then get it out. It's kind of bubbly. It's a little weird. It honestly looks and smells like just strong orange juice. So I'm gonna use a separate syringe because I don't want to contaminate my giant $90 bottle that they wouldn't sell me in a smaller size. They were like, oh yeah, it works, it works good, buy it. I was like, you sure? And they were like, yeah. I was like, okay. So it's about one milliliter. I'm gonna squirt some out. That was probably a little high. Uh, try and get it a little bit lower in there. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a jostle. Maybe get in there and swirl it around a little with my finger. Try and not create bubbles. The thing is, if you put it in this bottle and you just shake it, in this gallon bottle I mean, and you just shake it, you're going to make so many bubbles and you really don't. You know, I'm not honestly confident that it's an issue, but I feel like it is and that's just my opinion. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of the solution. I'm trying to kind of mix it in there thoroughly. One reason I like Azimax over neem oil is neem oil is a literal oil and it does not uh, mix with your water at all. It basically just creates little pockets of oil that has the same issue that I mentioned with this is you just, you put your plant into a big thing of oil 
and then it, it can burn them it can uh just be too much and it's just i don't know it's a problem so over here in this box i've got all my cuttings and one by one with one hand because i don't want to transfer the bugs onto this hand i'm just going to put them in the solution and i'm going to fully submerge them i'm going to give them a jostle sometimes i put them in there i put a lot of them in there and i just kind of pull them out one by one you want the thing completely submerged one of the reasons i really like doing this process which again i've called an azimax dunk is what I used to do is take a little spray bottle, spray the leaves one by one, spray the stem, try really hard. You cannot, these leaves are relatively hydrophobic and you are not able to get, especially when they curl, uh, certain species of bugs like spider mites, for example, really cause the leaves to curl. You're not going to get in there. And it just takes one leaf this big with a hundred mites on there. What I'm getting at is you can try to be as persistent as you can be. You will not get every square surface of every leaf. It's just not going to happen. And I like to do this as max dunk because it's the thing I've found to be most effective. So realistically, I don't think you need to keep this hand clean. Uh, just there are bugs on here. There's pretty much every species of bug I don't want in my indoor plant room. Uh, it's got... I'm sure it's got aphids, I'm sure it's got thrips, uh, it's for sure got spider mites and other black mites that are causing issues. So you don't really want to leave it in there that long. I just, I let it in there for about 15, 20 seconds, and that's what I'm going to do with the other ones. This one just got in there for a little long because I was talking. And what I do is I take it out and I shake it and I try to get as much of the solution off. And these are really rough cut. This stem is really thick, so I just cut them with scissors. So I'm going to have to go back in there with a razor blade and cut them. And after one dunk, I do a second one. Just in case there are any air pockets. And I kind of jostle it around. Make sure you let go and like hold on to different spots. And uh, get your glove in there a little bit because... Again, you picked up this thing, and there were bugs, and you touched the bugs, so... Try and not get it on your skin. I'm sure it's not good for skin. I turn it upside down and shake it out, because these tops are hollow, and you don't want water staying in there. So I just I shake it. And then I put it in my clean tub, like that. So let me go to the next one. These are the mites I was talking about. They kind of look like scale, but they're teeny tiny little black mites and they suck. So we're going to kill all of them right now. Uh, the way I normally recommend people do this is for potted plants. Today we're doing cuttings. Cuttings are a lot easier than potted plants because you can literally just take the thing and put it all in there. The issue with potted plants is you have the soil to deal with and you have the pot itself. I don't like to put potted plants, especially the soil, all the way into a neem solution, an Azimax solution, because I think it, the soil just has the tendency to rot. I don't know if it's the reaction of the solution with the soil, or maybe I kept it wet for too long. This has only happened a couple times before I basically stopped doing it that way and figured out a different way to do it. So. What I kind of do is if, if this was a plant the, and in soil, like if my glove is the pot, what I do is I take paper towels and I put paper towels all on the four corners because you have a square stem. So you're going to want to put one, two, three, four. I make a layer of paper towels, similar to how I ship them, if you see my shipping photos or my unboxing video. It's, it's almost exactly like that. That's actually where I got the idea. And it's, it's not almost exactly like that. It is exactly like that. And then I take a piece of cardboard and I put it around and make a cut so I can do this. Just go watch my unboxing video. You'll see what I mean. Uh, you just want to do that with your pot. And then what I do is I completely invert the entire plant while holding it like this. 
so you can pretend like I'm holding the pot right here and I completely submerge the entire thing. You're not gonna wanna use a tray like this. You're gonna wanna use something deeper, maybe like that gallon of water, but with like a cut in it. So you like you cut the top off so you can actually put it in. And you just put it in like this and you kind of jostle it like side to side. Don't shake it up and down because you're gonna risk the soil falling in and it's gonna basically ruin your solution because um, you're just gonna have soil floating around. You're just gonna do this over and over and over for maybe 10 seconds. And then you're going to pull it out and shake it and then do the same thing. And so that's what I call an Azimax dunk. And that's how I do it. Um, it's just going to get really repetitive if I were already at 16 minutes. So if you've watched this all the way through, thank you. And that's pretty much how I do it. I'm going to do the rest of these cuttings now. And if you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment. You can PM me on Reddit. My username is Zorg621, Z-O-R-G-621. And yeah, you know, happy growing. Let me know if this works. Let me know if this doesn't. Uh, definitely let me know if it doesn't. And maybe we'll try to figure out why. Because I've done this probably a dozen times. And with these ratios, with 12 milliliters of Azimax and one gallon of water, I haven't had a problem. I've gone up to 15 the plants can get a little bit burned if you go that high. I've gone as low as eight, and it seems not as effective. Uh, 12 really seems to be the sweet spot. 10, if you have a lighter infestation, or if your plant is a little more sensitive. But, you know, I just do 12. It seems to be a nice all-around effective number. So let me know what you guys think of this video, and have a good day. Goodbye. One other thing to add that I had forgotten is now that the plants have kind of dried out a little bit, not too much, you know, it's not, you don't really worry about it too much, but you see these super rough cuts. I had to cut these with scissors because the stems were so thick and they get kind of woody. So I'm going to have to go back in there with a uh, razor blade and try to touch them up a little bit. You do not want to root a plant like this. It's not going to do well. But the thing I had forgotten to add is not only do I dunk them like I just showed you, but after the rooting is complete, I dunk them again, and then I plant them. And that always is fine. There's, I've never had bugs after that second time. I very occasionally have bugs after the first time, and that's why I started doing it a second time after the uh, dunk I did just now. That's why I started doing it after they're done rooting. Um, but I've never had bugs after the second time and I'm just going to root these exactly like I do in my how to root video. I'm going to put them in a little tub. I'm going to use uh, mini water bottles. I'm going to do the exact same thing. No difference. They're probably going to take around the same time to root. Like I said, then I'm going to dunk them again and then I'm going to plant them. I am going to be releasing a how to plant salvia divinorum plants video. I have it recorded. I've just yet to upload it to YouTube. So have a good night, everyone, and have fun planting.